In this video I'm going to show how to configure basic labels in QGIS. I've got some data loaded into a new QGIS map here. This is showing countries in Africa. Um, I've also uh, turned on the labeling toolbar. These uh, buttons up here will help us work with labels and if you don't see those buttons you should right click a gray area up here and then you can check on to turn on the label toolbar like this. Um, whoops, let me recenter there. Uh, the first thing to do before we start labeling is to figure out the column in our attribute table that will drive the labeling because the labels come from that. We don't manually draw or type every label onto the map. Instead we get it out of the data set. Uh, so I'm going to right click this and open the attribute table like we've done in previous exercises and look through the attributes. I want to label the country with its name and uh, there are several attributes that I could use here to do that but I've got this really good uh, name field that I'm just going to use. So that will be uh, what we apply here. Um, so our first step uh, to applying the basic labels would be to go to layer labeling options. My goal here in this is to get uh, the software's automated label placement to be as good as possible or as close to what I want. And then when I get to that point I'm going to switch to um, uh, kind of freezing the labels where they are and then manually moving them around from that point onward. So uh, that's going to be uh, my goal here is to get the best automated placement possible so I can then go on to that next step of getting the best possible uh, uh, manual configuration later. Uh, so I'm going to say single labels here and I'm going to label that with the name field that I identified and I've got some labels now on my map which is awesome. So uh, you can see how well the software did. It was able to put most of the labels on. Um, it abbreviated some of the labels. Um, it actually left a few of them off that could not fit in there without too much conflict with boundaries or other text. So uh, I'm going to deal with a few of uh, the issues I see here and uh, just tweak this a little bit. Um, so I'm going to use these tabs here that will help me to set up the labeling properties. Uh, let's start over here on the right and I'm going to check on this box to show all labels for this layer including colliding labels. So I want to make sure that I get every label on this map and I don't want any of them left off because uh, even if they collide I can manually adjust them later on using techniques that I'm going to show you. So uh, I'm going to check this and you see a few extra labels appeared here. Now uh, notice that uh, countries here that have multiple polygons like Cape Verde uh, that they just have one label which is what I want but there might be some times where you have multiple polygons and you want each one labeled for example uh, the state of Michigan has two huge polygons and you would want um, both of those polygons labeled with Michigan otherwise people might think that it's uh, two different states uh, so if you want to label every part of the feature you've got a checkbox for that here label every part of multi-part features well, that's too much for us, so we don't need that, um, so we're going to uncheck. Just wanted to show you that option, though, um, because also if you ever use ArcGIS, that's what happens by default, and then you've got a, there's a little checkbox in ArcGIS where you have to just show one label per feature. Um, let's go and change the font. That's going to be way over here in the left-hand tab, um, so I'm going to change this to a color that's a little more subtle. The black really jumps out and catches my attention which might be fine if this was the only thing in our map, but if we were going to put other things on top of this country's layer and we wanted that to be the focus, we'd want the country name to kind of go into the background. So uh, I'm going to choose just like a dark green that kind of goes along with the uh, boundary color here. Um, I'll also reduce the size. I'm going to bump down from 10 point to 9 just because I think I can get away with that and still have it be readable, and that's going to give me more options for where I place the labels. Uh, maybe I can get a few more of them uh, to be totally inside the, the country boundary. Um, and then there may be some other things you want to tweak in here. Let's go to the placement tab. Right now these seem to be placed near the middle of the country but they're just uh, offset a little bit. Turns out I could probably get better placement if I went from this around centroid to offset from centroid. I like that better. Notice how they adjusted. Um, and you know, if you want to you set them in a different area relative to the centroid, you can do that, but I've got them placed right on top here. 
So now this looks pretty good. I've got most things labeled. Most of the labels are readable and fit. Uh, there's a little bit of cleanup that I've got to do along the edges here uh, where I've got these places with lots of uh, labels overlapping borders. Um, but the last thing I'm going to do right now is lock these labels into a scale. I'm going to pick the scale I'm going to make my map at. So if I'm going to make a paper map or just a static map to share on the web, people won't be zooming in and out. Um, I need to select the scale I'm going to work at, and then that will help me to place my labels. Uh, when you zoom into a map, uh, the labels can all redraw, which can kind of throw you off if you've been doing work to uh, manually place them, uh, which we're going to do uh, in the next video. So uh, I'm going to choose now that I'm going to make this map at a scale of 1 to 40 million, and I'm going to stick with that. So down here is this little box for the scale, and I'm just going to type 40 million. And that's about where I want to be with the size of my map and the labels. So now I'm going to click this lock to lock the scale in. Now notice when I zoom in, uh, my labels will get bigger along with the map. And so I'm always, I always know where I stand with the labeling. I wouldn't want the labels to get smaller as I zoomed in because um, uh, that could uh, throw me off as well.